Welcome back. Today we have an update from Interstellar Communication Holdings, a holding company that connects and consolidates space-related companies, enabling entrepreneurs and investors to tap into the vast potential of the universe. They've been here before, sharing their vision and progress in space communication and Pocket Cube. It's a satellite technology. Today, they're here to share their latest milestones and what lies ahead. Their space ambassador, Seda, has recently attended several events in Europe, connecting with partners and gaining unique insights, and she'll share how their work is expanding across borders and even feels like it's bridging moments across time and space. Seda, welcome back to the conference. Excited to hear your update. Thank you very much, Anna. It's always awesome to be here and giving uh, more updates, giving more information about our adventure. So as you just said, uh, we had new adventures and uh, this is really important for us to, to uh, share with everyone. Um, we actually started, that's what we would like to call, we are Bridging Stars and Innovation, and this is our European chapter. So uh, I was in Glasgow on February to attend Pocket Cube Conference. This is a conference that all Pocket Cube community and CubeSat community is there scientists, you know, wonderful companies, our wonderful partner, Albo Orbital was one of the organizers together with the Glasgow City Council. And we were in that wonderful um, platform of Glasgow University. So it was a very enriching experience for me. And I was so lucky to uh, talk about AstroMind program of IC Mercury in front of all those professionals. And there were also some students, they asked us wonderful questions, and we had a very good time just uh, talking about our vision, learning more about the professionals already in the field, uh, send uh, a few pocket cubes because we already sent our first, first pocket cube, and it was a great, you know, not history and the great success for us, but it was also very wonderful to hear everybody was greeting us, giving us new ideas. And we actually started to connect more companies and more solution providers in the Pocket Cube community who would like to be our next AstroMind project partners. So there was a lot of wins in our end, So, but we didn't start stop there. I was, as I said, very lucky to present AstroMind collaboration program and I would like to just give a little bit of information. What was it about? Um, as we already told you, this project is about University of Arizona, Arizona and uh, IC Mercury project. We brought together University of Arizona's uh, Mine Automation and Autonomous Systems Laboratory. And uh, they have a lot of resources and we have some insights, we have some projects. So we just brought everything together to create this amazing program to help space companies and mining companies to talk and find solution in the same platform. So as I said, we did a very good start with the Pocket Cube Conference 2025, but we didn't stop there. Our next chapter was in Luxembourg, Space Resources Week 2025. And Space Resources Week is an annual meeting, an annual seminar um, organized by uh, European Space Council and European Space Resources and Innovation um, uh, Research Academy. So I was, again, very lucky to speak in front of professionals, scientists, and there were actually a few mining companies as well, and that was really extra uh, exciting for us to hear their ideas and uh, talk about how we can bring space companies and mining companies together. What I um, experienced during all those three days in Luxembourg, by the way, it was my first time in Luxembourg, and it's a great country. I love the people and everything was really nice besides uh, the, the awesome organization, they gave us a lot of new ideas. And we were really lucky to speak about our uh, vision about how we can bring sp space companies and mining companies because uh, what we um, 
experience during those meetings are the mining companies would like to see some um, solutions that they could um, utilize interterrestrial world first and after that they may think about um, extraterrestrial uh, adventures as they say so i think we did a very great job to found and show them the common sense and how we can do it together and not only utilizing our uh, resources in environmentally friendly together with the uh, satellite technology but also we can think about moon and mars missions together with the extraction using the moon regolith and how we can establish our next chapter in the space and that was really nice to get all those feedback and we also learned a lot from their perspective and we don't want to stop there and another news Intersolid Communication Holdings also nominated for Go Global Awards in 2025. Go Global Awards is really uh, unique, very important for us because it is, um, this is how we met. We can also give a little bit of information if we uh, have left any time. We, we met in one Go Global Awards three years ago with Harry and Lee J. And now this is our, um, second time to be invited as a nominee last time we already won an award and we would like to repeat it again we don't know just fingers are crossed but thank you very much for international trade council for uh help you know helping us to to giving us inspiration so we cannot wait to be in london in our next chapter and tell you more about it so i just would like to say a few more words you know I know these days time feels and moving moves really strangely sometimes fast sometimes uncertain and sometimes even heavy in the middle of all of that i often think about why we still look at up the stars at interstellar communication holdings we have been working hard not to change the world at once but to build something small and meaningful a signal that reaches beyond the earth, a message that says connection is still possible across distance, across time. And what do you think about the last Perry? Thank you, Sarah. Sometimes our work feels technical, even abstract. Satellite, frequencies, data. But behind it's a simple hope that by opening new ways to communicate, we might help bring a little more understanding into the world. I know many of us are doing our best, each in our own way. And third, we're all moving toward a fast, sometimes chaotic moment in history. I believe we are still headed towards something beautiful, not because it's easy or certain, but because we haven't given up on imagining it. How about Lizzie? All right. So today we share not just the updates, um, mm. it's also a quiet reminder that even in a world spinning fast, we can still choose to look up and keep working toward the future we believe in. We'll be very happy to take any of the questions Wonderful. Great job, guys. I can't, I can't wait to get my own satellite. And a lot of our viewers are very interested in this as well. Uh, a question from Carter. Since space is global, are you going to be marketing your product to other countries? And do the consumers have to take possession of the satellite prior to launching it? Actually, this is a global activity. Our partners um, including Hydrospace and uh, Alba Orbital, they already have clients from many different places on Earth. And because Pocket Cube is really a good entry point for students, so some of the manufacturer team we interviewed in the past were actually high school students. So you'll be surprised how um, younger generation are thinking another dimension uh, much faster than the adults. So uh, yes, it is a global activity and uh, no one wants to be left behind 
and it's a good area and a new commercialization process to enter into. Wonderful. A viewer, Candace, asks, where can they see your board presentation? Do you have that on your website? Yes, we made a lot of the uh, presentations with uh, Emerging Growth uh, Conference in the past. It's online, and uh, we also have an investor relations page that show uh, our progress along with our news release. Um, yeah, we'd be happy to um, you know, constantly making updates about our progress and to make our company as transparent as we can and to build a transparent platform to allow people to work with us together. Wonderful. Well, thank you all so much for this update. Always enjoy having you on the conference. It's exciting news. Wherever you guys are, you're all over the world and what you're doing for, for us connecting with space. So thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you again, hopefully real soon. Thank you very much. Bye. All right. Bye, everyone. Thank we'll be you. right back for our next presenter.